really important, I think, to develop the next generation of business leaders and the Enterprise Challenge is, is a great way of doing that. Well, I think it's a really great idea. It's an opportunity uh, to get young people involved in business and to get them involved in a non-stuffy, practical way. Uh, well, it, the competition is essentially about teaching the children the basic concepts in relation to business. So really it's around helping kids to understand the importance of business ethics and business value. The mentors have helped a lot at the start. They helped us with the ethical business strategy and what's best. Uh, they gave us, when we asked questions, like which one's better and they explained it more to us. I explained what product price was, market share, s and budget for example. I actually do want to go to the final, um, as same as last year we did, uh, we got second place so hopefully this year we're going to come first and win. So today we had the top five teams who earned their place in the finals, who over the last two weeks with their mentors have been developing their business ideas. And today they had to come before 150 guests, before His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, to present those business ideas and to see who would win the challenge this year. Well, they've, they've worked hard and they've uh, made some brilliant presentations, but it's the ideas behind the presentations are important as well. They've been learning really important stuff, uh, innovating, thinking for themselves, how they can make a business work, and that's the skill that they're developing. I think it says so much about the potential of young people that His Royal Highness spent a good two hours with those young people today to hear their business ideas, to hear their passion, to see the talents that they have got. I know it meant an awful lot to those kids, but it also meant an awful lot to our guests that the young are supported so much by His Royal Highness. If I may say so, I'm so thrilled that uh, this particular initiative, the Enterprise Challenge, has is becoming more and more worthwhile and more and more refined as it, as it goes on. And uh, having first started Mosaic five years ago, I'm particularly pleased to see how things are progressing, but also uh, just how many more people we are involving, how many more mentors and those who I know give so much of their time uh, and their knowledge and their experience towards helping to raise, above all, aspiration, self-confidence, self-esteem and make such a big difference to so many of these young people who I think have probably benefited. They, you can see it on their faces now and, and I'm sure many of you will provide and give a huge contribution to this country's future welfare and success in years to come, both environmentally and in commercial terms. Thank you. We had a fantastic team of winners today from Southfields Community College here in London. They put forward a fantastic business idea. They delivered it with real style, real panache. They wowed everyone in that group in front of them. The Prince just had the biggest smile on his face. Princess Badir, our chairman, was also so happy to see them flourish and do so very well. The winners of the Enterprise Challenge Finals have immediately after the finals gone along to ITV studios where they got to film their own news reports um, and have those critiqued by Natasha Kapinski which the students absolutely loved. Um, immediately after that we're whisking them across to the House of Lords for tea with Lord Noon. It's a fantastic day of prizes and, and the students are, are overwhelmed by it all. This was amazing. <laughs> It's a once in a life opportunity. I mean, we went to the House of Lords. I mean, not all people go to the House of Lords. I still remember I said last year we came second, <laughs> this next year we'll come first and look at us here. Yeah. Mm -hmm.